Ladies and gentlemen, let's try game into the video. We're going to be discussing DirectX 12. So I've also done this as an article because I have got a few quotes as well as images embedded and it just makes things easier. And you're going to find out why in just a moment. So I've actually spoken to AMD and I've got some answers concerning uh, their opinions and perspective of DirectX 12. So we're going to be kind of going around the roses. So if you just want the answers straight away from AMD, you can just click on the link. But if you want me to give some explanations as well, well, then you can wait uh, just for a moment. So as I'm sure you're aware, at GDC um, 2014, Microsoft unveiled the latest API, DX12, and they were showing it running on Forza 5, and we've discussed this anyway, but let's just go over it again, just so we're all on the same page. And of course it was using DX12, um, and the GPU was said to be NVIDIA's Titan Black, which, as I said at the time, was fairly interesting choice, considering, well, it's the Titan Black. It's pretty much one of the most powerful GPUs out there. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We know that it's not going to be released just yet. In fact, we're going to be waiting until late 2015 for the API to actually be ready. And Mantle, of course, right now is working with Frostbite. It's also been confirmed to be working with CryEngine and so on. We've got games already that basically support it. So, this basically led to a lot of rumours that were circula circulating, I'm sorry, around the internet concerning people basically wondering, did Microsoft rip off Mantle, right? So, just to get us all on the same page, and as I said, I'm sure some of you already know this, but it's just good so we all know what we're talking about. An API is basically a piece of software that sits between the game and the hardware. So, pretty much, the purpose of the, this is that the game speaks to the API, which will in turn speak to the driver, and then eventually that will control the hardware. I'm simplifying it, but that's pretty much, in a nutshell, what it does. So, you'll get a new release driver, from example, from AMD or NVIDIA, and that will improve performance. And this is a really big, important thing now, because let's say you've just got a new game that's being released, right? It's like the shiny game that everyone wants to play. Well, that thing is most likely going to shift GPUs, especially if it's technically demanding. Um, Crisis, of course, will shift GPUs, but that's certainly not the only ones. And people pay quite a lot of money to basically run their latest games at ludicrous resolutions. Case in point, the new Titan Black is going to cost... Uh, I can't actually remember the name of it, but the new Titan that's been unveiled um, actually just today at GDC is going to cost like 3000 bucks or something like that, which is ridiculous, but still. Anyway, I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. So, of course, these optimizations are for the most part down to the driver. So, either NVIDIA or AMD will basically take a look at the way the game runs and they'll tweak it for their driver to make the most of it and to make it more efficient. When you consider that Mantle's out there and it's improved a lot in terms of multi-threading as well as making a thinner abstraction layer, all this basically means is that it's easier for the developers to pretty much speak directly with the hardware. And it's also fixed, as I said, multi-threading, because right now you get like a main rendering thread and all of the work is being placed on that one thread. And when you consider the GPU performance is going like up ridiculously fast, thanks to, of course, um, modern day GPU technologies, uh, we've of course got like basically thousands of the little processes in there, um, compared to a single CPU core. So what I basically mean by that is a single CPU core in terms of performance hasn't really improved much over the last few years. Basically what you start getting is situations where between say an Intel's own Sandy Bridge and Haswell, by the way Sandy Bridge was released back in 2011, early 2011 uh, and Haswell's fairly new, it's basically current, there's not really that much improvement per core. And so there was a lot of confusion going about the internet. I've heard multiple rumours and speculations, and basically people have said, well, did Microsoft rip off DirectX? Uh, so did they rip off um, Mantle? Did they basically take the technology? So I spoke with AMD, I spoke with Robert Halleck there. Um, I've done a few exclusive inter 
interviews with AMD previously, so I thought I'd like reach out and uh, contact them. I've also sp uh, re uh, reaching out to speak with Microsoft as well, and at the moment I'm kind of in communication with a PR representative there, so I'm not ready to unveil it. I don't know if I'm going to get the answers because basically the API isn't ready, yeah? So I'm kind of asking them some probing questions and I don't necessarily know if they're going to respond uh, and give me the answers I'm looking for, but still I can tell you AMD's responses. So I asked them, and these are verbatim quotes, but as I said, if you do want to check them out exclusively, you can check them out on the website. So I said, can you provide some more insight on DX12 versus the Mantle debate? Clearly, Mantle has some major advantages regarding lead time and the ability to work on different variety of platforms instead of being pushed onto Windows only. Do you believe that Mantle support from developers will help largely due to the ability to run on Linux in the future? Robert responded, I believe Mantle's current principal advantage is the very nature of a low overhead API. It's the only low level API available in the market today, and it's a proven technology support by four game engines and a number of games. If your game's development studio wants to become familiar with low-level API development, Mansell is the only game in town and we'd love to hear from you. Then I asked, and this one is ye old crucial question, there are many who are claiming and reporting rumours that Microsoft copied parts of Mantle design and effectively rebranding it. Can you comment on this or perhaps provide a little insight? Robert responded and I quote, DirectX 12 is Microsoft's own creation, Robert began, though they have welcomed input on its development from many different technology partners, including AMD. Uh, side note, out of quote for a second, obviously they're working with Intel and um, NVIDIA, but back into quote. We have welcomed the same input on Mantle by sharing its full specification with Microsoft since the early days of our API. As the industry moves to embrace principles of closer to the metal API designs, it's evident that our pioneering work with this concept has been highly influential, end quote. So, basically, um, I'll read out the last question. Uh, a few sources are reporting that AMD currently don't have a DX12 driver in the hands of developers. Can you provide any information on this? Robert, Robert basically responds that he's basically going to have to get back to me. He's doing some digging to find out exactly what the state of their development process is in terms of DX12. So that's fair enough. Obviously, um, you know, if they're still working on it, then, that you know, things have to be tested, to be honest. But, um, this one's a bit difficult. So, clearly, DX12, according to AMD, is their own creation. In other words, they've not just been like lols, copy and paste code, which is, if you read between some of the lines that some websites have been reporting, basically been what they've said. They've pretty much said, well, you could have equivalent of me just taking, it's almost like the equivalent of me saying, dude, write this book for me, and then I'm going to rebrand it, rather than the main hero being named Brandon, I'm going to rename him Bub. And I'm going to take your name, which is, let's say, you know, Jackson 5, and I'm going to rename it to be, you know, Paul. Done. That's how some uh, websites have kind of reported this whole Mantle DX12 debate. And that's not what Mike, uh, AMD are saying. They've said, well, yeah, they created it, but they are heavily influenced in the design process. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a final few thoughts on this because this topic of DX12 is going to be huge and I'm trying to do some research as I said I'm trying to get some word from Microsoft I'm also going to reach out for Nvidia and some game developers as well and I'm trying to do a little bit of um, basically scouting around trying to put all the slides together but I want to get this out there um, now here's the thing DX12 is not out Mantle itself is still being worked on right um, we've got it working with some games now, Robert's right, but performance is still not where it should be, and that's just simply because they're still working on it. I actually got sent a Mantle Primer, um, which I've already spoken about, so if you guys want to check Mantle out, you can do so. Um, you can search for it on the channel if you want more information. I'm not going to revisit old ground, um, you know, I don't want to uh, kind of uh, dig up old corpses, if you will. But um, in this case, I 
I think the there's no real answer in terms of um, the performance of which one's going to be better. Obviously, in terms of the fact that AMD's mantle only work on, well, AMD's hardware, at least yet, then, you know, that could be a thing. But you've also got to remember that DX12 won't work on Linux unless Microsoft are going to make some type of announcement. And so what I've been saying for a while is that PCs are going to be under a huge, massive change over the next few days. Oh, sorry, over the next few years. And I am not exactly sure the direction it's going, but it's going to be extremely interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's put some answers together for you guys. I know it's not exactly super duper conclusive, but it's something. So, I'll leave you guys to it. Take care, and bye for now.